Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am Freya. This is Budget Budgets and today is Sunday. So it's Budget With Me Day, weekly check-in day, cash and stuffing day. And we are also going to, well, today we're going to start with a quick cash condensing. I just want to get as much cash out of my binders as I can, um, particularly any change that I can get out, lower denominations, um, just because it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to get cash out with my bank branch still being closed. And they've also removed their ATMs, which is very frustrating. Um, and the other banks here really don't like to help you unless you have an account with them. So um, we're just going to do what we can do to keep this going. And hopefully they don't take too long with their renovations. Um, but it's all good. I, I prefer to have less cash in the house anyway. So it's not a big deal. Um, but let's first of all start with a little things that don't teach you in school fact. So... What did the Greeks think that diamonds were? The ancient Greeks. What did the ancient Greeks think that diamonds were? Fragments of stars that had fallen to earth. Oh, that's so cool. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, yeah, if you didn't know what they were, it kind of makes sense that the bright twinkling things in the sky might have like dropped down and landed on earth. That's such a cool, um, yeah, that's such a cool concept. Okay, so um, I do apologize. It's probably going to be a little bit glary today because I have got some lights on because it is miserable here. Um, we have had some huge storms in Melbourne. Of course, yesterday they were predicting thunderstorms all day and um, it had to hit right on school pickup time because, of course, like when else would it hit? Is there some kind of universal... Like, is there something scientific that happens around that time of day? Why does it always seem to hit right on school pickup time? Um, it, I feel like it happens, like, every time. Every time. Like, every time when I have to get out of the car. Why? It's so frustrating. Anyway, so we're going to go through and do a little bit of condensing. I think we'll start with electricity because I know there's change in here. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which is a handy start. So there's 350 in there now. And then we can go back to water because I don't think there's quite 100 in here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, so we need, uh, if we take out 60 and put back in 60 like that, that works, right? All right, and we can change that for a 100. So 130 in water. Um, but yeah, it's been miserable the last last couple of days in Melbourne. We had some really hot days and now it's um, cold again and very, very rainy. Uh, so 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. Oh, so there's exactly 200 there. Is that right? 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. So we'll put another 200 in there. So 450 in gas. Excellent. Phones has got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we'll leave a 20 and a 10. Change out 50. My goodness, what's happening? It's suddenly like peak hour in my street. Oh, and we can change that for 100. So 130 in phone recharge. Oops. Home. Come here. This is what I'm after. I'm after these fives. <laughs> really? That's what I want. Uh, it's just such a pain. Um, I had such a good system going, like uh, the days on which I would go to, that was 10, wasn't it? Go to the bank and deposit cash and withdraw cash. It was all working very, very well and they've gone and ruined everything. Um, so I'm sure it'll be lovely when the new branch is done. I'm sure it'll be very pretty and all of the things. But in the meantime, it's just very frustrating. Uh, so 20, 40... 50 and we've got that 50 and we've got 100 so we can put 200 in there so 210 in car insurance uh, 20 40 60 80 90 260 in car registration I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to uh, like condense down as much as I need for the next cash stuffing 20 30, 40, 55. 
um, because it's going to be a big one, as you'll see in our budget in a minute. Um, oh, we can get rid of all of those. Beautiful. The 205 in car service. Um, yeah. 20. So 17 car tires. And license. Throw those and pop in a 10. So 210 in there. Everything else in there is empty for now. I hope you all like my new, I'm sporting some new jewelry. My little, my littlest darling um, learnt in art this week how to do finger knitting. So she's been busy making everyone bracelets and anklets, which is so cute. Um, so good, this is my new grocery extras envelope. So that's gonna be for like overflow from groceries to make sure that I'm covered for the things that I tend to forget, like my daughter's shampoo order on Amazon and our toilet paper delivery from Who Gives a Crap and those little odds and ends that just don't exist in my mind for whatever reason. I think, yeah, she's just got 30, so that's fine. Uh, hair has got 15, so that's fine too. Skincare's just got five. What have you got, gifts? 40, so we can swap those. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit out of sorts. I'm not actually sure if this week I actually end up being unwell with a pretty nasty virus. I think I'm um and i'm not sure um but i've been pretty crook and then obviously everything happening with the laminator it's, it's been such a big week actually you guys so the laminator died and then i ordered a replacement the next day it still hasn't arrived um because i ordered it from like a big office supplies and school supplies place because i wanted one that's like high volume um and i can't get onto them now so they've taken my money <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and now they're just ignoring me. So that's awesome. Um, so I'm still trying to work that out. I am still, I've still got plenty of orders to work on while I'm waiting. Luckily I had quite a lot of envelopes for outstanding orders. I had nearly all of the envelopes made already. So I'm just cutting labels and assembling labels and things like that. So um, at least that's something I am grateful for that. Um, but yeah, it's just um, deadly. So $40 in ambulance now. I'm just gutted. I think like some of you will know, like I had spoken about it when I was saving up my emergency fund in my thing. I must have known because I kept saying I need to have enough in my emergency fund to cover the laminator. I was obviously worried about it in the back of my head. There was obviously a reason for that, um, given that it now has up and died. 20, 40 and 50 in skin check. Um, now, we'll need to boost this up because um, I have booked mine in. So the place where I wanted to go and get mine done is uh, called Mole Map. And I was cruising on their website and I, and I filled in my information. I can't really remember what for. Oh, they got you to do a quiz because they offer three different kinds of skin checks. And they get you to do like a little quiz um, to determine which one's best for you. So I did that, but I didn't book an appointment yet. And then like a week later, they sent me a 20% off offer. Um, so I've gone and booked that in because it's normally $269. So it'll come down to like, I think it's 213 or something like that. Um, so yeah, I figured that was well worth it. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything to that one or that one. In fact, oh, this is another new envelope as well. So Booty is a brand here in Australia that make bamboo clothing, underwear, singlets, track pants, things like that, which my daughter and I really, really like. So I've given her her own envelope in here just to save up to her, like replace underwear and things like that when it needs to, because it's quite, they're quite expensive. Uh, 20, 30 and 40. So we can't condense that all the way. Um, so that happened and that was the miserable part of my week all while I was feeling unwell as well. <laughs> so that wasn't great. But in really, truly very, very exciting news, um, my husband got a new job. So um, it's super, super duper exciting because he's been where he's been at his old job for 12 and a half years. So this is a huge change for him. Um, he knew when he applied that the money was not likely to be any better. So our budget is not likely to change because what they did, like their, their offering salary was actually lower than what he currently earns. 
However, they really, really like him um, and they're keen for him to come over, so they're going to do a salary match. So they're matching his current salary from his, his like previous job, um, but this job also comes with extra perks. So instead of the standard four weeks annual leave, he'll get six, um, which is amazing, six weeks of paid annual leave. And like I was saying to him, like that's worth a few thousand dollars, like two extra weeks of leave, that's, that's worth quite a bit of money. Um, and he also gets like the day off for his birthday. I think he can nominate another special day, like our anniversary or my birthday or one of our kids' birthdays or whatever, and have that as a day off as well. Um, and they have flexible work arrangements too. So he will be in the office more than he is now, um, which I'm a little bit nervous about actually. <laughs> like, I'm so used to having him home all the time. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. It does mean we have to go shopping to get him a bit of a new wardrobe because it's been a long time since he's had to be in the office regularly. Um, so his wardrobe is a bit of a one trick pony in terms of the clothes that he has available to wear in, which isn't really gonna work when he has to be in every week. Um, so we'll be going to do that. 20, 40, 50, 60 and 70. So we'll leave that there. Um, but it's actually really, really fortunate timing because uh, so 1,070 in technology now um, because we've got those, we're getting the Get Active money. So I applied for Get Active vouchers for our children, which will give us, it should be $600 because we get $200 per child as a reimbursement for what we've already paid for their swimming lessons for this term. Um, so we'll use that money to go and get him for some new clothes and some new shoes um, before he starts his new job. So he doesn't start for a little while. He had to give his current employer, uh oh, was that $20? I think it was. So two, oh dear. I'm pretty sure it was 250, 270 in vet fund. Um, he had to give his current employer four weeks notice. So he's going to work for the next two weeks and then he'll have about two and a half weeks of leave um, because he had that much leave accrued with his current job. And then um, he'll start in the new role in late November. So that is very, very exciting. Um, it does mean probably just when he actually transitions over that we're going to have a bit of a funny, because presumably like, it's very unlikely that they're going to pay on the same schedule that his previous work does they do still pay fortnightly apparently we know that <laughs> um but we don't know like days or anything like that so there might be a little bit of i've already condensed that one down so there's 440 in there um yeah there might in a few weeks time after all his leave and everything has been paid out we might have a bit of a funny um budget schedule for a couple of weeks um but that will be, that will be fine. I'm actually really glad that we have this um, system in place currently to make sure that when that leave gets paid out, that it's all tucked away where it needs to be. Um, I don't think any of these can be condensed. No. Um, yeah, that it's all tucked away where it needs to be rather than um, like us accidentally overspending or whatever we might have done before we were doing this system so that's awesome 20 40 and 50 i might leave that one in there and we can put back those ones and take 200 205 in that one sorry guys that was so super chatty <laughs> blah 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 but yeah all that to say is <laughs> it had been a seriously crappy week um, however, that was definitely the awesome, bright, sunny news that we kind of needed, or I kind of needed, I suppose, because I was really, I really, really wanted this for hubby. I think it's really, really good for him just to, ex just to have some different experience. Like he's been at his old place of employment for so long. Um, it'll just be really good for him to experience something else. Um, Am I going to condense these down? I think I will a little bit. 20, 30, 40. Or oh, will I? Uh, yeah, I will. 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, but yeah, like on, 
on Tuesday night last week after I filmed my videos. I was like properly ready to throw in the towel on budget budgets. I was so beside myself. Just, I think it's just all got on top of me a little bit. Just the notion that I had only just replaced the printer um, to then have to replace my other major um, piece of machinery that I use was just all too much for my brain. Uh, 20, 40, 50, let's do it like that. Um, yeah, it just, I just was not, I just did not deal with that very well. <laughs> um, but no, look, it's all good. It'll be fine. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, it's just, yeah, when I'm, when I'm working so hard, um, on orders and everything had been going really well. Um, and I have so many orders because you guys are so amazing, um, to just have that kind of setback. It just feels like, oh my goodness, I'm doing all of this work for nothing. Cause now all of that, all of that money that could have gone onto debt or whatever has had to go into paying for a new printer. Um, which yeah, I have a feeling I already condensed these. I really think that I did. Okay, I'm going to leave those alone because I think I've already condensed them. So let's leave that there and we'll count up what we've got here to take back to bank. How did I just do that? Whoops. Well, probably not back to bank, but to cash stuff with. Oh, sorry guys. I have the itchiest nose. My hay fever is wild at the moment. Uh, so we've got 50... 20, 40, 110, 120, 35, 45, 55, 50, 60. So $700 going back, um, which definitely, yeah, I will still have to get cash out for the cash stuffing, but at least I should have enough fives now that it won't matter if I just go and even tens, I should be fine. <laughs> so if I just go out to the ATM and get some bigger notes, it won't be a problem. Okay, so uh, actually I might, I might need this just for some change, probably not that so much, but just tens, cause let's, let's do our cash unstuffing that we need to do. So, sorry guys, this is definitely going to be a bit of a longer video than usual. So, school expenses is losing just 10. So, I'll put that there. I'll leave at the front what we've unstuffed. So, $10 from school expenses. School uniform is losing $70. That is because I ended up taking money out of here to buy betas for my oldest daughter. She was just in desperate need of them. Um, and I just figured that none of them are in desperate need of uniform at the moment. So I've just taken it from there for now and I'll build that back up. Uh, hundred dollars coming out of sport for my daughter's tennis lessons. And then 110 coming out of this one for our doggies. Um, flea treatment. So I'll put that back there. Oh my goodness, no, this is being unstuffed. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so then there's $30 left in there. So we actually saved a bit extra in there than we needed this month, which is kind of nice. Um, gives us a little buffer. So I've actually skipped that for a couple of weeks. So in total, we unstuffed 100, 250, 270, 280, $290 this week. So that is all good. Okay, now that we've done that, I might just move this out of the way. Okay, and we will do our roundup challenge. Where are you? Here we go. Now, we don't have that much actually this week in roundup. 
Um, probably on account of this fact that I haven't done that much spending. Uh, so we had $2.84. What were we up to? 68. And then 15 cents. So we are getting there. It's a bit of a slow burn, but that's all right. It's just money we really don't realize is even being saved, which is always nice. Always an added bonus. Okay, so with all of that being done, let's get into our, I still haven't done anything further with this because I am so busy. <laughs> I am so busy catching up on orders and trying to create all of the challenges uh, for the advent calendars. 20, 24 to 25 new, brand new challenges. That was ambitious, you guys. That was, <laughs> that was really ambitious, um, especially given the nature of them that I am making it to them. Yes, I certainly set myself a challenge, that is for sure. Um, but that's all good. That's all good. It's kind of fun. Um, so we added, uh, we had 137 in groceries. We added 240. We spent 443, uh, 42. So we're in the negative 66. That's the, um, like, who gives a crap toilet paper that I have on. on it's like a subscription. Um, so I completely forgot about it as I do every time. Cause it's so long between them. Like we get it like every, I don't know if it's, it's like 16 or 20 weeks or something. It's a long time. Um, so yeah, but anyway, it's all good. Um, that'll be covered off this week. Um, and hopefully we'll be continuing to be ahead. We had 50 in petrol. We added five. I haven't spent it yet. I haven't needed to, which is really, really nice. I will be due early this week for a top up. So I'll go and do that. Um, and then take out, we had nothing. We added 51. We spent it. There's nothing left in there. And chemist, we had five. We added 15. We spent $11.16. That was entirely on Band-Aids because apparently my children have used every single Band-Aid in the entire house. Um, so <laughs> I had to organize some more of those. Um, but so we've got $8.84 left in chemist. Let me know um, what you guys think about this. Is this actually helpful to you or not really? Because um, if not really, I might get rid of it. It's not helpful to me. Um, I really, really do it to show you guys, I suppose, what we've spent. Um, because I see it in my digital tracking and then I will do it at the end of the month so we can see compared to my monthly budget what we spent but this figure here for end of month can you guys even see what I'm yes okay um, isn't going to match any of these figures anyway so like if I add up all of these it's not going to be this because this works on a week which doesn't necessarily start on the 1st of October and my tracking online is by the month. So it goes from the 1st of October to the 31st of October. Um, so yeah, it's not, they're not going to be congruent with each other. So I don't know how helpful this really is, but um, let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm interested. So let's do our paycheck three budget and it is a doozy. We've got a big week because it was a child support payment week and also hubby's pay. And it's always a little bit fun when those two come together because it means we have lots of money to spread around. Um, and that's always nice, really, isn't it? <laughs> so rent this week is getting 1,415. Our internet, I hope I have enough space for all of these actually, we've got a lot, is getting 100. Uh, home insurance. My God, my handwriting is getting messier and messier. Uh, health insurance, sorry, home insurance is getting 49. I said that in my head. Health insurance is getting 264. Um, we might roll some of these into the other hand. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, that'll be perfect. So Apple Care, which is the insurance for my daughter's iPad is getting six. Xbox, which is my husband's membership, gets 23. Uh, what else? Spotify, we have the family Spotify premium. So we're all on it. We all use it all the time. Um, Apple, iCloud, 
is getting 15. Netflix is getting 19. And YouTube, which is my spending, is getting 17. And that lets me watch all of you ad free, but you still get money as if I watch the ads, which is so nice. Uh, so 1,932 going to all of those. And we have 1,000. $893 left. I'm still really breathless, you guys. I'm sorry, I probably sound terrible. Um, it's just because I've been unwell this week. Um, I can't quite catch my breath properly. So groceries this week is getting 415. So what I've decided to try is instead of doing the big fortnightly payment, I'm breaking it down into a weekly payment. So the goal will be, I can't remember, as of next month, There'll be a certain amount per week going into these groceries and there'll be like 10 to $15 a week going into our groceries extra envelope. Um, so then when those unexpected things that I've subscribed for come up, I've got them covered in there. I don't have to worry about pulling it from here. And then if I've got leftovers from here, if I have rollover, I will either roll it over into the next week if I know I need to do a bigger shop the following week or I will put it in here um, or otherwise whack into savings challenges because why not? Uh, okay, what else? Takeaway is getting 17. And we will probably have pizza um, tonight because it's Sunday, so why not? Mikey is getting $8, which is our public transport system. Chemist is getting 10 What else is here? Am I going to fit this in here? One, two, three. Sorry guys, I'm looking at a cheat sheet off to the side, which I'm sure you've all already gathered. Um, so dog food is getting 65. Now spending is getting um, 50. Uh, 40 of that is for hubby, 10 of that is for me, and my other 30 is going into cash envelopes to go towards my nails for when they need to be refilled. So that hubby likes is all in, on, in digital. Um, the dogs, I was about to write their brand name, which won't make any sense to you guys. The dog's bones is getting $80 because I need to top up those. They're like little dental stick things. And then the kids' pocket money is here. They're getting 70. And then my daughter's tennis, the rest of her, there was no point cash stuffing it this week because I had to pay it this week. So that's just getting 45. So that is a total of 813, which leaves us with 1,080. I did actually speak to the kids about their pocket money because I had given them a pay rise, the older two of an extra $5 per week. But I was talking to them about having a whole big chat and I was explaining about because because they don't to spend it on junk which <laughs> annoys me um yeah like my son decided oh he don't want to spend it at a canteen but he wants to buy this like you know just stupid fidget toy from Amazon and I'm like that's not really what it's for like if you guys put that money away and he's like oh it's only five dollars a week we're not up to anything so I was explaining to them the whole idea of compounding and compound interest and how only $5 a week might seem really insignificant now, but by the time he's 18 and wants to buy a car, you know, that $5 a week will be at least a thousand bucks. Um, so that kind of a little light bulb went on in his head. Um, and so that extra $5 I was going to be giving them, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm going to be starting to stuff it into the 18th envelopes for all three of them. I'll find the extra five for my youngest in here somewhere. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So it's just so that it's a bit of forced savings on their behalf. Because, yeah, after a few weeks of doing it, like the first week they spent it at the canteen, the second week they didn't, they wanted to spend it on other random junk. And the third week they did the same thing. They just wanted to spend it on other random stuff. And I was like, no, that wasn't the idea behind it. Um, also, I don't feel like my children need to go to canteen to get lunch. Like I make them really nice lunches. I'm like, you guys don't need to be like, I make fresh um, pizza scrolls every Sunday that last nearly the whole week. Um, so they get like, you know, ham, cheese and pineapple or barbecue chicken or whatever. Like I make them proper scrolls and they're, they're decent. I also, either me or my oldest daughter makes a massive batch of muffins every Sunday. 
So like in their lunches every day, they have good food. I'm like, you guys, like if I was giving you a Vegemite sandwich every day and kicking you out the door, then I understand the desire <laughs> for, for a lunch order for the canteen. But when you're getting a really good lunch every day, I just don't feel like it's necessary. <laughs> so, you know, which they agreed with. So, um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so what are we up to? Uh, that's it. So now we have cash envelopes, which I completely forgot to total. Monday Minis is getting 40 this week. Oh my goodness. This is because I'm trying. Why, why do I do this to myself? Like, this is like the whole point of having this particular type of planner is that you can just do that, Freya. Um, so you just do it, mate. There we go. Okay, so Mini Mondays is getting 40. I'm really, really keen to get some finished. So I'm kicking it an extra 10. Savings challenges is getting 80. And then uh, that must mean, whoops, that all of our other cash envelopes are getting a total of 960. So that's like more than double what I usually cash stuff, you guys. I'm so excited. This is going to be a really, really good one. Um, so that totals, sorry, 1,080, which leaves us with nothing. And that is our zero based budget. So, um, that's it for today. That's everything. But as you can see, it's going to be an epic cash stuffing this week. We've got extra money for mini Mondays tomorrow. We've got extra money for savings challenges. It's going to be an awesome week. You guys, I'm really, really excited. Um, definitely come back and join me tomorrow for mini Mondays. If you have not already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're about 25 subbies away from me dropping some more freebies into the Google drive, which would be really exciting. Um, I haven't decided what theme they're going to be yet. Uh, I think I'll make them Christmas themed if we can get over the line soon enough that it's not too late for Christmas because yeah although I think a lot of us a lot of us cash stuff is safe for Christmas year round anyway don't we so um yeah but anyway thank you so much for hanging with me today I'm so sorry I know it was super super chatty um I know that it was super chatty because I am completely out of breath <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for mini Mondays. I will more than likely have my little helper with me because she was very upset that she missed out last week. So we will see you then. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.